Welcome to Terry's Kitchen, where we talk food, faith, and family. Today I am making macaroni salad, and I got some wonderful memories to share with you. But before uh, we get started making this, I wanted to read out of Jesus Calling today. It was my devotion this morning. I got up early about quarter till five, and some just some things on my mind. It was going to be a busy day, and and um, so anytime that I get up early, it's like the the Lord is nudging you and just wants some quiet time with you. So when I read my devotion, this devotion this morning, it was like, oh my. And throughout this day, um, I have just truly been um, blessed. And I may even get a little emotional um, as I share some of the experiences that I've had today. So, so let me get started with the, the devotion. I am all around you, hovering over you, even as you seek my face. I am nearer, nearer than you dare believe, closer than the air you breathe. If my children could only recognize my presence, they would never feel lonely again. I know every thought before you think it, every word before you speak it. My presence impinges on your innermost being. Can you see the absurdity of trying to hide anything from me? You can easily deceive other people, even yourself, but I read you like an open, large print book. Deep within themselves, most people have some awareness of my imminent presence. Many people run from me and vehemently deny my existence because my closeness terrifies them. But my own children have nothing to fear, for I have cleansed them by my blood and clothed them in my righteousness. Be blessed by my intimate nearness. Since I live in you, let me also live through you, shining my light into the darkness. And so why that, uh, you know, I definitely, and, and hope you realize that when you're watching this video, I do have just a wonderful relationship with the Lord. And when he does speak, and so when I get emotional, I, I know that the Holy Spirit is just surrounding me. Um, and just, again, wonderful memories. And um, so let me get started, and then I'll start sharing some of my experiences today. Oh, I need to do my meditation moments. If you're feeling blessed or feeling stressed, and our dear friend Debbie um, gave these to us. So never let a stumble in the road by the, be the end of the journey. Oh, that's a fitting. <laughs> so if you... Stumble along, don't let that be the end of your journey. Because I think we're definitely on a, a journey and, and the experiences we have are, you know, they're all lined up. So, Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for, oh, I want to thank you for this morning and just spending time in your presence, quiet time. Um, I just want to thank you, Lord, for that. And, and just the encounters that I've had today, I just want to thank you, Lord, for those blessings because each and every one, uh, that's come up to me, Lord, they have truly been a blessing, and all those that are watching this video I, I, are, are such a blessing to me, and I thank you, Lord, that their day also is blessed, and I thank you, Lord, for being us, with us today as we make macaroni salad, and we ask this in your precious name. Amen. So let me wash my hands, and we'll get started. I want to show you my new apron and this was one of the blessings today um, our dear friend Edna she watches uh, our show her son Scott watch watches our show her her son Jason was with her today so she dropped off an apron to me and my first one that has my name on it and I, I just oh thank you Edna I, this was just such, when she says, can you open your bag? So when I opened it, I, as soon as I saw it, I knew, and it was just, and I'll get emotional. Um, but this is just wonderful to share, and um, uh, the aprons, because you know my love of aprons, and Edna knows my love of aprons, so, so thank you, Edna. So today, like I said, it's just been one of those days when, uh, like I said, the devotion, you know, doing these videos, 
I am just, I love doing them. And people have been coming up and saying how touched they are. Um, there is another lady that reached out um, that I've, you know, known her for years, Kathy, and, and her daughter, Carrie Ann. Um, there's going to be more and on that, but she asked me if she, uh, if I wanted her mother's punch bowl and teacups because on long-term care, she was also a resident that I took care of. And we talked about food years ago. We talked about entertaining. And so she reached out and said she's watched the, the videos and feels like her mother would love for me to have this. So we're going to see if Kathy will join this video uh, and when she's going to bring me the punch bowl. So that happened um, yesterday. Another lady, her name is Donna, that I work at Family Promise with, and um, and she had talked about her mom um, used to make it something like a cherry pudding, like I had done, and I was talking about the the cake, and she really um, she says I'm going to look for that. So that touched me. Um, another lady this morning when I went to the grocery store, her name is Kathy. And uh, we were talking, and she's watching uh, the videos, and, and people commenting. Uh, there's just so many. And I just want you to know how, just thank you. That has truly just blessed me more than you will ever know. And um, so, getting back to the real reason we're on video today is the macaroni salad. So this is another. <laughs> so, it... it the macaroni salad. So growing up for me, we had, mom would do her macaroni salad. She would slice up tomatoes and cucumbers and maybe some onions. And that's how I always had macaroni salad. Well, um, I, growing up um, and as a, a teenager, I um, had a friend, her uh, name is Becky, uh, was Becky Wetzel. And, uh, and a friend, Carla and, and Lisa, and we spent the night at, at Becky's house one night, and Becky uh, lived on a farm, and um, her parents, Rachel and Guy Wetzel, so one day, we had, uh, we had spent the night, they had us come around uh, to stay for lunch, and Rachel served macaroni salad, and I always thought it was Rachel's recipe of using all the vegetables, but here to find out, got a call this morning um, from Becky's sister-in-law, Pip, which is another story, and her husband, Steve, actually worked with Pip, and um, really got close with her too, but she lived at the, on the farm um, before they had built their house, and when I was talking, I said, I want to, uh, you know, just mention about Rachel and, and just the family and, and Becky and, and all the siblings. And, and she was saying that um, that was actually her mom's recipe and she would be the one to make the macaroni salad. And so, so great job, Pip. So she was the one adding the other vegetables because I had never, I love that macaroni salad because of the carrots and, and the, the peppers and I've added some radishes, but it was something about, you know, having the, uh, those additional vegetables in the macaroni salad. But also what is so touching about that moment, you know how I like my memories, and this is where I'm going to get emotional again. So Rachel, so here's a, a mom of six kids, Bill and Cliff and Winnie and Carolyn, um, Steve and Becky. Not sure if I, I don't, I know I don't have them in the, the right order. So here they have this large farm and Rachel cooking for all of those people with Pip's help uh, in the kitchen and, and I'm sure the Becky and, and the other girls, Carolyn and Winnie, um, around that table, there was so much fellowship. And as a teenager growing up, just to see a lady so Rachel, her love of cooking and sharing it with others, the fellowship that was around that table. Mm. So it's a wonderful memory. So Bill, Cliff, Carolyn, Winnie, Steve, and Becky. It's a great memory of your mom that I will always have. And Guy was there and he was funny and, and stuff. And, and getting to know Pip and Steve later um, in life, uh, Becky went off to college. I 
stayed home and that started working with Pip. So their friendship um, a lot, through these years has been wonderful. So, so without all these tears, so it's been, been, been a very emotional day, just the encounters that I've had and the memories and I've been canning this week with my mom. So it has just been just a wonderful time. So, so thank you for letting me kind of go through those stories, but let's get to making some macaroni salad. Ron's given a thumbs up and said, move this on. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> so I have cooked, um, according to the package on uh, the box, about one pound of macaroni, elbow macaroni, and it's cooled, and my hands are clean. So I have uh, two stalks of celery that I've chopped, one red onion, so it's like other things, you know, you think you have one amount and it's just going to grow. So this is um, about one large carrot that I've chopped fine. But look at all these colors. This is one bell pepper. And I like using the yellow or the orange. I like using yellow if I'm doing macaroni salad because the carrots are um, orange. Get this out of the way. One cucumber that I've sliced. And this is optional if you want, but it gives another, um, a little bit of a different taste, a little bite. Radishes. And this is just two radishes. So what I like to do before I put my dressing in there, because the macaroni has cooled and the starches have kind of come through, I want to mix those vegetables to kind of moisten the macaroni. I need a bigger bowl. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side. So my dressing has kind of evolved through the years. So this is actually two cups of mayonnaise. And because I never measure, but I'm going to measure today for you all, I'm going to, so I have, do have two cups of mayonnaise. So I have, I'm going to start out with maybe a fourth of sugar. Fourth of a cup of sugar and maybe two tablespoons of vinegar. And then I'm going to taste just to see where we are with all that. Like I said, I just dump an eyeball. Okay. Kind of see where we are as far as flavors. I'm going to add just a, a heavy pinch of uh, ground black pepper. Now, I have already salted the macaroni, not a lot, but when I was cooking the macaroni. But with Labor Day coming up, you may want to make some macaroni salad. I hope you would uh, think about uh, trying this recipe. All right, let me give it a taste. Got a lot of vinegar. So I'm going to actually add the other, um, another fourth of that. So actually, it's a half a cup of sugar. So let me see where that is, see if it's sweet enough and, because you know I like my sugar. So let's try it again. Mmm, maybe three-fourths cup, because this is a, it's a lot uh, so that's actually uh, three-fourths of sugar, three-fourths of a cup. Now, this is something that uh, Rachel and Pip did not have in their macaroni salad, but something that I've had is I like doing a celery seed. So, uh, I was going to measure that out. So about two teaspoons of that. another spoon. So perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, I'm going to bring my macaroni 
everything back up, pour all my dressing in there. Now because of the starch um, from the macaroni and it's a little cool, it may really absorb the dressing. So I have a tendency to make it um, maybe um, more dressing than if it was um, not as starchy from the macaroni. But I like a, a moist macaroni. I don't want a dry macaroni salad. Ah, better get that out or I'm going to have radish sugar. Get that all mixed in. Should have had a bigger bowl. Now something that I started uh, doing, um, I don't know if it was Catherine said, why don't you put a little cheese in there? Or we had a macaroni salad that uh, when we were out that may have had cheese. So I've have a half a cup of just shredded cheese that um, I add in there as well. And it's not overpowering. It's something you do not have to add if you don't want to. It just gives it a, another bout of flavor. But look how beautiful that looks. In addition to tasting well and good, it, it's gonna, it looks pretty with all the colors in there. And all those wonderful vegetables, summertime, and so we get those from the garden. One more final taste with some of the vegetables. Mm. Delicious. So there is my version of Pip's macaroni salad and along with the memories that I had around um, Rachel and Guy Wetzel's house and um, with my friend Becky. So thank you so much for letting me share the wonderful memories I had today, the encounters that I had today. Um, so thank you, and, and again, Edna, for my apron. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching our videos, liking our videos, sharing them, subscribing and comments. I love hearing that you are enjoying these shows as much as I enjoy doing them. Blessings.